Hello YouTube world, Mac Daddy 1911A1 here with Shade Tree Survivalist. One of the uh, concerns that truck drivers have to have, whether they're an owner operator or a company driver, is um, wheel seal leaks. What is a wheel seal leak? The wheel seal keeps the oil in the rear ends or in the drive axles or in the steer axles in there where the bearings are at, which the uh, wheel hub ride zone on top of the spindle or the axle and uh, I have a wheel seal leak on my trailer I've had it uh, on the last trip and I went ahead and made it on home with it and uh, parked it uh, as you well know and um, I went to work for a company and uh, I thought maybe that would be something interesting something that the uh, younger drivers need to know about what it looks like, what to look for, so you'll have an indicator. I mean, what you know, what the indicators are visually, as well as smell, that will give you an idea. You need to look really hard at around to see if you have a wheel seal leak. All right, this is the front axle on the driver's or the passenger side of my truck. Oh, you see all that spotting above the tires? And on the uh, hanger, it's not really a spring hanger, it's just a, because this thing has airbags, it's the control arm that uh, attaches the axle. You see all that oil up there? That's not grease. That is the actual hub oil oh, wait. for the hub of the trailer. Now, this is what the hub looks like, the hub cap. Okay, and uh, we can get in there real close to it. The... Uh, brightness around it may obscure it but there's a little line here and it says ma uh, maximum oil level and there's a little arrow pointing at it so from the bottom that little line there you pop this little cap out on some trailers and that, where that little cap is that's where you can fill it or you can back it up or pull it forward until this cap is on top and you can take it out with a big allen wrench and you can fill it that way but anywho the first indicator that you've got a problem is the smell of hot burn oil or you've got little splatters on the frame rails such as that there. Your mud flap. I don't know if you can see it or not. You can see the cross member here and right there. Okay. And then a little bit of specks all over your mud flap. Okay. You, you walk by, you see that, you're like, oh crap. Well, on a flatbed or on most of the trailers, you can crawl, simply crawl under here. That's what it looks like on the other underside of my Rinky. And you'll go and do a visual inspection. This is the brake shoe. Right here. Okay. And this is the drum. And you can see it's gobbed up pretty bad. You can see how wet looking it is right there. And look on the tire. See that moisture? That is the oil that has leaked past the seal, saturated the brake shoes, which would have to be replaced if I were to put this trailer back on the road tomorrow before it would be legal or really, really thoroughly cleaned. It's just a lot easier just to replace the damn things. They're not that expensive. The drum is, but the brake shoes are really not that expensive. The whole kit, you know, you have to turn in your old brake shoes. But you'll look for that indicator. And this is on the drive axle, this is on the steer axle, this is on the trailer axle because they all, most, most road tractors use oil to lubricate the bearings inside the uh, hub. Therefore, you'll have leaks like this. Um, Off-road trucks generally use grease. Not always, but they generally do and they have a solid outer cap. But that's what you'd be looking for. And you'll have streaking. See how the tires are streaked here? That's from the oil hitting the tire and the tire spinning really, really fast. And the centrifugal force driving that oil right off the uh, tire. But that's the type of stuff you'll look for to spot a oil leak. <clears throat> Just thought that might be helpful to uh, all the new hands out there who uh, do not know a whole lot mechanically about the trucks. And I hope this video helps some way, shape, or form. But this is Mac Daddy 1911A1 with the Shade Tree Survivalist with another trucking video. I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Y'all have a good day.